Welcome to Whiskey's The Journey. My name is Peter Fasciano, and you guys are watching my Sip It or Skip It segment on the channel. Here's how it works if you're new. I have all of my whiskeys randomized on my phone. I'm gonna spin the wheel, pull the whiskey off the shelf, do a quick review, let you guys know if I'm gonna keep sipping on it until the bottle's gone and replace it, or once the bottle's gone, I'm gonna skip it and replace it with something else. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel and see what we got going on for today. Oh, what happened? False alarm, here we go. I always get nervous about this. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof B522. I actually just did this on my Elijah Craig Barrel Proof tasting. So let's go ahead and get this B522 off the shelf, pour it, let's get the review going. All right, B522. B522. So just like always, this segment is not about me telling you guys how to spend your money. It's about how I'm going to spend my money. Because I have the YouTube channel, my purchasing is a little bit different than the average drinker. Just keep that in mind as I go through this. Like always, the information for the whiskey is all right here. Man, oh man, Elijah Craig does not disappoint at all. I love all of the cherry flavors, the cherry notes that I'm getting out of here. The ethanol is pretty high. This is 121 proof, 60 point. 5% ABV. That does sting the nose quite a bit. It's a very viscous, very oily whiskey swirling around in the glass. Just now the legs are coming down. Got to be careful with getting your nose in there. It just lights everything up. Caramel, brown sugar, a little bit of vanilla. The cherry note is there, but it's not as strong as the caramel or the brown sugar. It's amazing on the nose. I think Elijah Craig's more than any other bourbons that I have are very distinctive. All right, let's get that first taste out of the way. The cherry note is the first thing that I get. It's definitely a sweetness to this. I have that barrel tannin or that barrel bite on the side of the tongue that is always really good. The brown sugar and the vanilla are there and it's either caramel or honey that I'm getting. Probably I'm leaning more towards caramel than I am honey. Let's get that second sip going. For me, that second sip always seems to bring out more of the barrel influence, the barrel char or the barrel bite. The finish on this is really nice. Because of the ABV, the finish is nice and long, but you do get those nice honey, cherry, brown sugar, and caramel flavors. The viscosity of this definitely coats the inside of my mouth and it is very nice. Let's do a third sip and then let you guys know if this is a sip or a skip for me. That third sip gets you a little bit more acclimated to the ABV less of a burn and now the flavors are really starting to sink in that finish is really starting to show through if you're abv sensitive i would not want to start here but if you are starting to test yourself to see if you can get higher and higher abvs this would definitely be one to try all right i think i have a decision it's not going to take me very long but before i let you know if it's a sip or a skip do me a favor if this series sounds good to you and you're enjoying this and you're not subscribed to the channel do me a favor and subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments down below if you have any experience with the elijah craig barrel proofs what has been your favorite so far do you have a better year than others? 2001 seems to have a consensus that it wasn't very good, or I just got into drinking whiskeys this year, January 14th. So I only have experience with this year's releases, the A, B, and C, and then one of the 2021s. So I'd be interested in hearing from you guys down below in the comments what you guys think about the barrel proofs. Is this a sip or a skip for me? Absolutely, these are going to be sippers. Anytime a new barrel proof comes out, at $83, I'm definitely going to be picking these things up. And now that I have four of them, I can definitely do some comparisons next year with their batch releases and see how 2023 will compare to the 22 releases. All right, that's where I'm gonna leave it. Enjoy your journey. Like, subscribe, share, do all those things that YouTubers ask you guys to do. And with all that being said, enjoy your journey. We'll see you guys next time.